Hi Ian, thanks so hey. much for joining today and um, being part of the um, uh, climate conversation. No um, I was just wanting to start um, with asking you to introduce yourself and um, yeah. Hi, uh, my name's Ian Nesbitt. I'm an artist and a filmmaker. Um, and my work is generally uh, in the field of social engaged practice, I guess. Amazing, thank you. Um, so we're going to start today by asking, um, what are you working on in relation to climate change right now? Okay. Um, yeah, I, I guess my work doesn't exactly um it doesn't respond to climate change directly it's not I, i'm not i'm not making work and 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 kind of never really have done the the, the in 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 that arena that the that, that, that addresses climate change um but i think that what my work does do and what it kind of always has done is to think about a, a, a localized, convivial, and um, collectively produced, collectively authored um, future or way of being together that um, you know arguably we need to think about more and more as time goes on, and we need to do that because of climate change. Um, so I don't know if you want me to say something specifically about, about the kind of work that, that, that I'm yeah. doing in, in that area. Um, yeah, so, the next question, yeah. How do you do that work with whom? What kind of methods, what tools? It would be great to hear more. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm working on something right now called the Book of Visions, which is based on a 1973 manuscript that I found in the British Library called the Book of Visions, which gathers, um, I think there's about 300 entries to a, to a competition um, from, from the time, um, which the people were asked to respond to um, and they were going to win, I think, £1,250 as a result um, uh, for ideas for uh, alternative future societies. Um, and I would kind of got my hands on this, this thing, a, a copy of it. There were only 200 made. And um, it's a really, it's a fascinating document of the time. You know, the ideas are split into... Um, arts, education, health, uh, ecology, and, you know, all, the, all these different um, um, chapter titles. Um, and I guess my question that emerged out of reading that, that manuscript um, is what would a book of visions look like for now? Um, you know, what, what is it that's, what is it that's happening um, here that, that and, and, and in this time that, that we can um, take in a, 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 as a kind of useful model for, for whatever the future might look like. Um, and so I'm, I'm in the very early stages of that. Um, but what I imagine is that that, that draws out connections and, and, and um, weaves a kind of uh, a network of people thinking, um, I'm not sure if I would say outside of the box, but certainly beyond the, um, beyond the frame of, 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 of what we, we are currently given as, as you know, the, the, the place to be thinking about what we're doing. And I, and I, I kind of include, I include climate change in that, to be honest because um, I think, if, if I'm honest with myself, um, I, I look, I have a bleak vision really of, of, of the, the, the possibilities um, that there are for climate activism, by which I mean activism on the streets and activism in the form of 
um, activism as resistance, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I was just, um, I'm not really answering your question. <laughs> I hope that's all right. I've kind of gone off on a on a bit of a tangent. There are other other bits of work that I'm doing and, and they're sort of more ongoing, localised um, things like Open Kitchen. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll just I'll just keep to this thread for a minute um, because I was reading. Um, I was actually in a in a in a, a group conversation that, that I'm part of. Um, came back to something this morning from Anna Singh's Mushroom at the End of the World, um, which you're probably familiar with and your students are probably familiar with too. Um, but we, we were talking about um, polyphony. Um, and she talks about that in the book and it, and it brought me back to it. And there's this section where she she's talking about polyphony um, as opposed to progress rhythms. Um, so I'll just, and then she talks about progress a bit and, and she says, progress felt great. There was always something better ahead. Pro progress gave us the progressive political causes with which I grew up. I hardly know how to think about justice without progress. The problem is that progress stopped making sense. More and more of us looked up one day and realized that the emperor had no clothes. It is in this dilemma that new tools for noticing seem so important. So I guess more and more my work is focused on noticing and listening. And it's kind of coincidentally, um, I, 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 I've traditionally been a filmmaker, but I, I sort of put a camera down in 2019 and haven't picked it up again yet um, but what I have been doing is is listening and using using audio recording tools um, and I'm involved in a project in uh, that's based in Paris called Radio Commons um, and uh, it's I guess it's an open collective of artists um, and thinkers and activists from um, all over Europe and beyond who, who, who are kind of involved in, in building this this platform for um, I think what we're calling um, a form of sonic solidarity. Um, so those, oh, and yeah, and what I was gonna say about that is that um, last year I, I made a piece of work um, about Sheffield and about the, um, the, the grassroots food um, network, the, 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 the network in Sheffield of which Open Kitchen, which is the organization that I'm involved in, and Food Hall are a part of, um, and was looking at the response of, of our organizations and others to the early pandemic, um, and how uh, one of the things that, that was obvious at that time was how those agile, close to the ground structures were able to respond uh, immediately, um, whereas, for example, the council, the Sheffield City Council took um, months to respond um, and they were, for a long time, the council were referring um, people who, who needed food parcels to food hall, which is, you know, it's absurd, but that's, that's, that's what they were doing. Um, so I, I guess maybe... Um, Maybe we're beginning to get into your third question. Yeah. If I remember. Do you want to? Yeah. So, yeah, I will happily ask you the third question, which is what do you consider to be the most important issue around climate change in Sheffield right now? I think that the most, the most important thing uh, around climate change in Sheffield at the moment um, is, or for me, you know, I, I, I speak for myself, is to 
look at what systems we have that are that I would um, that that Dougald Hine um, I heard him refer to to close to the ground culture, um, and that that works for me as a as a phrase to describe the you know intricate web and and map of of um, small scale activism um, and um, community work, for want of a better expression, that that goes on day in day out um, across Sheffield and any city like it. Um, I think that the more time and energy that we can put into those networks as citizens, as individuals, um, the stronger they become and the more support they offer. Um, and so, you know, to return to my, um, my feeling that the state and those kind of top-down structures, the state, the bank, the, the you know, the, the, the health service, <clears throat> will, we're going into a time when they're, they're going to, they're going to be receding. They're going to, they're going to have um, less to offer the, the individual. And again, that, you know, that is connected to climate change. Um, or climate catastrophe, you might say, depending on how urgently you, 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 you think about it. Um, and so I think that really the, the single most important thing that we, we can do in Sheffield um, is to find something that you want to get involved in at that level and, and get involved in it um, and, you know, begin to really um, to focus less on politics as as it stands uh, the, the kind of mainstream politics that is is less relevant had a moment of 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 hope recently you know in the last few years but but really that's that's got to be seen as as dying a death otherwise we're we're just we're just trapped in in that death um as as citizens and as groups and i and i don't think that that's necessarily um how it has to be um so yeah thank you so much um i'm gonna stop there but yeah i really appreciate that that's really fascinating